Hello, I'm Jackie Cation. Are you sad because you missed previous episodes of Hotel Art? Where I'm in a town, I'm in a hotel, and I show you the art. Well, this is a compilation of said hotel art. And as a bonus, here's a piece of art that is in my kitchen. This is a compilation of hotel art. You guys, it's the last episode of the year of 2017 of Hotel Art. Yes. Follow me as I turn this camera around. Here it is, you guys. The final episode. San Francisco Hotel Art. It's too close. I'm too close to it. I get that. I totally understand that. Let's back up a little bit. There we go. That's the Hotel Art in San Francisco. What does it mean? What does it mean? You guys, it's a 2018 uh, brand new season of Hotel Art. My hair, super big because I've had a hat and a hat. I am in Eugene, Oregon, going to Portland tomorrow, doing uh, shows with the Bamford, the Maria Bamford. But let's get to it. It's another great episode of Hotel Art. There it is. That's the art in this hotel room. Yep. It's pretty glamorous, I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's cubism? I don't know anything about art. But yet, it is time for another episode of Hotel Art. I'm in Portland, Oregon, you guys. What do you think kind of art Portland, Oregon has? Let's do it. Ta-da! It's art about Portland, Oregon. Here's one piece of art in this room at the hotel in downtown Portland. Uh, what do you think it means? What do you think it means? Uh, get this. There's bonus art as we bring you over to this piece of art uh, that says Portland, Oregon on it. Yeah. And uh, other than that, it's just got kind of a busy wall. And then, of course, the obligatory interesting... Uh, uh, carpeting that can hide dirt. This has been another episode of Hotel Art. I am in Long Island or on Long Island but it's going to be the laziest episode of Hotel Art ever. Ever. Let's do it. Hotel Art. Hello and welcome to another episode of Hotel Art. This is a horizontal episode of Hotel Art. We Long Island, Levitt Town. I think I'm actually in uh, Melville, Herman Melville Town. And this has been another episode of Hotel Art, a horizontal episode. And good night. Hey, I accidentally uh, posted that last snap. It was uh, Lori Kilmartin and I recording our podcast, uh, the non-award winning, but definitely beloved Jackie and Lori show on the Nerdist Network. But I'm in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and so now we know what time it is. Huh? Huh? It's time for another episode of Hotel Art, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania version. Uh, guess what? This is not the only piece of art in this room. That's right. Let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this. There are two additional pieces of hotel art. There's this with a little splatter on it. Here's the television. And then there's this. Someone called me in the middle of a very important episode of hotel art. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have that. That one's going to be truncated. That's what it's going to be. But Midtown Manhattan, you guys. And I just combed my hair. <laughs> but it's a very special episode. New York City Hotel Art. Dun, dun, dun. It's actually kind of a really cool picture. It's, uh, I think, a fountain that's supposed to look like a dandelion. Spore. Uh, it's pretty cool. Plus, of course, the reflection of the window of New York City behind it. Very artistic, you guys. 
It's been another episode of Hotel Art, New York City. Come see my show tonight, Brooklyn, in Little at Littlefields, and Manhattan, 11 p.m., UCB, Whiplash. See you later, guys. Boston, Massachusetts, you guys. This is a very special episode of Hotel Art in Boston, Massachusetts, with me with hat hair. Hair that has been wearing a hat. Okay, here we go. First of all, know in your heart that I love a long hallway into a hotel room. And then, of course, the busy carpet that uh, is always no art on this wall. What's happening? What's happening? It's like that, oh, there's no art. There's no art. Is there art? There is art. Uh, <laughs> and here it is. It's coming. It's coming. Here it is. Welcome to this version of hotel art, which has this fish and then this fish. It's like the great herring adventure in Iceland. Uh, this has been another episode of Hotel Art. <laughs> Welcome. Look how nice the lighting is, you guys. And, huh? Huh? Welcome to New Haven, Connecticut. New Haven, uh, Connecticut, uh, where it's an episode of Hotel Art in New Haven, Connecticut. There's that piece, of course. And then good work is being done with water, dew drops. This is a very pretty piece. And then these are quite nice. So this is actually kind of really pretty. This has been an episode of Hotel Art, New Haven, Connecticut. Come see me do comedy tonight. What the heck? Have a good one. Bye. You guys, I got a package from a Hampton Inn manager because <laughs> I love the Hampton Inn. But it's for everybody, so let's have a little uh, view of what's available here. It's essentially hotel art sent to me by Scott. And he sent the cup of waffle mix, an entire bag of the cup of waffle mix. Uh, name tags written for me, Maria, uh, Lori Kilmartin, and Andy. <laughs> uh, coffee mug, I'm keeping that. A bunch of espresso bars, some other crunch bars, Virginia peanuts, and then a variety, a, little, a pin, pins, and a game, cards, a card game, post-its. Thank you so much, Scott. Uh, Scott, this is hilarious. Thank you so much. <laughs> this has been a weird uh, reciprocity of hotel art. How about that? Hampton Inns. I'm in winter again, you guys, so I have hat hair. Do you like it? Like what's happening here? Anyway, this is a recurring episode of Hotel Art, because I am in a hotel that I stay in quite a bit here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So Minneapolis, Minnesota, Acme Comedy Company, Tuesday through Saturday this week, and this episode of Hotel Art. There it is. It's an old-timey picture of downtown Minneapolis. And then look at this, look at this, look at this. It's another old-timey picture of Minneapolis, in the snow, no less. And guess what? It's actually snowing right now, too. So this has been an episode, a glamorous episode of Hotel Art in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Thanks a lot, you guys. See you soon. Well, you'll be happy to know I left my brush in Milwaukee. So I'm hoping to buy a new brush. Tonight, I am going to be at Cobb's Comedy Club uh, doing a Valentine's show. But right now, I'm in San Francisco at a boutique hotel. Ooh, there's always a mirror. And uh, so this is a very special episode, boutique hotel episode, of Hotel Art, San Francisco style. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. It's huge. What a large piece of art. What does it say to you? What does it say to you? It says to me, water. And here we are in the North Point, so it's kind of waterish. Is there any other art? There isn't. There's no other art. There's a lot of, there's a mirror and then more art in the mirror. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm in another hotel. And you know what that means? It's another episode of Hotel Art. I'm in San Diego, you guys. I'm about to go on the Joko cruise. There's a lot of art. There's a lot of art in this room. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it. There's a lot of things that have boxes. Here's some boxes. A lot of waves. A lot of waves, you guys. A lot of things happening. Remember, I'm in San Diego, so maybe things with waves, right? And then get this, this room here. This has leet trees. This here's a 
here's some branches. Here's some hotel art right here. And then Andy Ashcraft, he he took he he's a, he knows art. What is that? Well, that is a shadow box. That is a, got, this is our it's local art painted on the glass, and then there's some recessed art underneath the glass. So the glass of shadow. Shadow box. This has been a very special episode of Hotel Art, San Diego style.